day. Let's see how good this fishing will be. What's going on, everybody? We're back out here, Lake Arrowhead. As you can see, we're doing a little crappie fishing again. Hopefully, we can get into them like we did last time. Now, if I catch a perch, I plan on throwing it on the old catfish rod just to see if I uh, get anything to bite. Uh, I've been told that there's a uh, blues in here and they've actually been hitting here lately. So, personally, I'd like to try to be able to catch one. But this is going to be a predominantly crappie fishing. Now, if uh, the catfish start hitting, then hey, maybe we catch one perch, one bat, one catfish. But until then, stay tuned. Let's go fish. Doing good. Alright, well, we're going to start off like last time. Just push her out to about eight. Eight inches for my jig. We're going to be using a one eighth ounce jig head with the old Mr. Crappie tuxedo chartreuse black and chartreuse jig as you see and we're going to throw on one of these Mr. Crappie power baits as they seemed to work last time so we'll start off in this corner work our way around to this pier like I said it's kind of windy out here so we'll see what we can get into last time it was 12 to 13 foot we were on them let's we'll see what it is today about right there. May have to go to a heavier uh, slid knot, a little split shot for this, but we'll see. Well last time it took us an hour and 20 minutes to get one, so let's hope it's not that long this time. We're just going to walk around, start our way around, all the way down, all the way back. Make a couple of laps, see if we can get on to something. So we've been waiting on. Don't know if uh, it's gonna make the cut for size, but let's go get a length on it and check real quick. That'll be our ten. Too small. We'll let her go back. <laughs> oh, not bad for today. Started out, been here for about 25 minutes. We got one, which is good. Let's see if uh, we can get us another one. That one was right under the 10 inch mark. We ain't trying to keep nothing about that size. Throwing on these, another one of these little crappie nibbles on and see if we can get one more. Stay with me. Try to get us some, get us a keeper or two. Got to eat. Like I said, probably had better luck on this side, moving back over that way. <clears throat> Let's just stay right here and not move. Oh, there we go. This one may just fall a little short as well. But they're nice. Nice and fat. Healthy. Nice 
Nine and three quarters. Let her go. Throw your trash away, people. That's who we've been after, right there. Oh, how'd she get away? Well, that's Big Mama. That's who we've been waiting for. She a keeper for sure. But just so you know, like always, put her on the tape. Show you where she at. Eleven and a half. Oh yeah. right about 11 to 12 foot. I think those little uh, Mr. Crappie grips, pellets, is what's doing it. Stay tuned, let's see if we can get some more. Just a little quick recap. Using a size 7 split shot, 1 8 ounce jig, with a Mr. Crappie black and chartreuse body. I believe it was a tuxedo black and chartreuse Mr. Crappie lure. So, so far it's been doing the trick. Let's see if uh, it continues to succeed. Let's drop her down a little bit. Let's see what she does. Dropped her eight inches. And she came on. See, folks, dropped her that eight more inches, and that's all it was. She inhaled that baby. She's on there. She's a guaranteed keeper. But like I was gonna put her on the tape. Just so you can see. Hopefully this one don't flop down. Like that last one we had that got away from us. She's 12. Let's see if we can get another one this size. This is the last battery change. It took us about nine minutes to catch that one. So I think we're about, I think we're right on maybe an hour and half an hour 45 minutes let's stay out here we're catching them we're on them let's keep at it stay tuned <laughs> well, folks, ain't done a lot of talking today kind of just getting a feel of the fish seeing if we can get one on yeah so far it's been a pretty good day uh, got three in the basket been out here maybe two hours now uh, all together i think we had five oh, that one. Oh, that one. Go. As I was saying, when we caught this one in the bottom of the lip, look at that. Yes. Look at that one. She fat. She nice. In the bottom. She must have swat swatted at it. Kind of awkward. I had I felt a couple of hits while we were there. Just while we were there, I wasn't catching anything. Look at her. She's nice. And I'll show you to the camera. Hopefully everything looks good with it. But there's your mouth. Shoo. Thirteen. Oh yeah. She's a nice keeper. But like I was saying, ain't been able to do a lot of talking. Seeing as there was a lot of people here on the pier. Really didn't want to bother them, you know. 
kind of hard to record and do a little a lot of commentary as a I'm fishing with a lot of people around me I really don't want to disturb them it's a nice basket really don't want to disturb them as I'm fishing or as they're fishing like I was saying it's been a good day uh, little power baits seem to be pulling through for me uh, I'm kind of here by myself at the pit, at the pier now so should do a little more talking be a little more louder that way y'all can hear me on the GoPro uh, all day I pretty much just kept this uh, one eighth ounce jig one eighth ounce jig head uh, kept the tuxedo black really haven't deviated from it since it seems to be doing the trick uh, I'd say I'm fishing about 12 to 13, 14 foot, give or take. Every now and then I let her down 8 inches, reel it back up, let it down. I always keep the 8 inch mark. Remember if I'm going down, coming up. But uh, so far it's been a pretty good day. Uh, I hope you all enjoy these videos. Uh, hopefully you are still following, liking, watching, subscribing. And uh, it's been a good day for crappie. This wind, maybe it turned them on. I know last week. Uh, it was far and few in between, but we did pull about four or five of them out today. Uh, we got three or four in the basket. I think three. Uh, caught two that were smaller, had to throw them back, which Texas law, you know, 10 inches. If you didn't know, now you know 10 inches in Texas for crappie. But we're going to stay here a little bit longer. Hopefully we can pull some more out. And stay tuned. Stay with me. This little area seems... Uh, Seems that fishing on this side of the pier has been good for us just because it's provided somewhat of a windbreak. Uh, if you look, oh, got another one. Uh, nope, don't you go over there. As I was saying, it seems to be a good windbreak. She's definitely a keeper. I'll measure her for just safe measure. Calm down, baby. Calm yourself. She's 12. Like I was saying, I haven't really rode my rod up. I'm keeping it at the same depth just because, as you see in the last two minutes, we caught two crappie right at 12, 12 inches. Don't want to get away from that. I don't want to lose my depth. Maybe uh, where we're at. Finally, they're coming in. They seem to be a lot more hardy than those that we had caught previously. So stay with me. Like I said, stay tuned. This uh, Mr. Crappie, little chartreuse in uh, black seems to be taking a good licking. And it seems to be doing the trick. Let's see if we can uh, pull another one out of here. That was pretty quick, as I was saying before. Uh, I just let that fall and that, on the descent, he hit it. But this pier seems to be doing the trick with the windbreak. Uh, the water maybe looked the same on your end. Uh, personally, I think maybe it's helping down below. So hopefully that's what's doing the trick and uh, these crappie keep hitting. Maybe they're about to turn on. We did catch two earlier back to back like that that were uh, smaller right underneath uh, the 10 inch mark so hopefully i appreciate the video the content and keep it coming i just love being outdoors love fishing can't get nothing better than that that go around so let's cast her back out there well folks i'll say thank you for watching the video thank you for following like and subscribing and if you're not please do so be sure to like follow subscribe uh today was a really good crappie day uh Turned out a lot better than I expected. Maybe this low wind that came in actually helped us. Got the majority of them there in the first half of this video. So, like I said, plenty more fishing to come. If you like the content, like the videos, stay tuned. Got a lot more coming. Stay with me. Like, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more of this crop of fishing. Hopefully, hopefully I got it on now. So now that I got it, I'll keep it. And we can get some more fishing going. Thank you.